This week on Zooborns Australia. There you go. A first time giraffe mother welcomes a new calf, much to the delight of visitors and zookeepers alike. Over at the giraffe exhibit, the keepers are anxiously awaiting a new arrival. Eight-year-old Katoto was brought to the Perth Zoo in December 2016 to be part of the Australasian Giraffe Breeding Program. Having successfully mated with 15-year-old bull Armani, Kitoto will be having the ninth giraffe calf born at the Perth Zoo since 1995. There you go. Have a nice little baby. Little babies, please. <laughs> We're expecting Kitoto to give birth now any time in the next two to three weeks. Giraffe births can be a, a risky business. When Katoto delivers her baby, the calf will fall nearly six feet and land on its head. The impact will be hard enough to cause the baby to sever its umbilical cord and take its first breath. We're doing a lot of preparations for the possibility that we might have to intervene, but we're really hoping she's going to manage that all by herself. We're all worried and we're all hoping that it's all going to go well and uh, all we can do is prepare for the worst and, and hope for the best. Three weeks later, Toto has finally delivered her calf. With less than 80,000 giraffes left in the wild, every birth matters to keep these gentle giants from the brink of extinction. very protective of her baby, so zookeepers haven't been able to examine the calf yet to discover what sex it is. Shall we go and check it? Yeah, let's go. Well, we've checked Katoto this morning. She looks fantastic. The calf looks beautiful. Um, we're confident now it's a little girl, which is just what we wanted. Um, Katoto's past the placenta and the baby's feeding. We couldn't be happier. Perth zookeepers have learned that the calf is a female they've named Camille. Obviously everyone's dying to see the calf, but um, just like a mother needs to stay in hospital for a few days with her baby, we've had to have mum and calf spend time together bonding. It's really important that we get to see her suckle and ensure that she's feeding well and just getting used to her environment. After six days of bonding with mom and learning to suckle, Camille has been introduced to her father, Armani. Under the watchful eyes of her parents, baby Camille is learning to run and explore her new home. Love what you see with baby Camille? Vote for your favorite Zooborn of the season and we'll donate 3,000 US dollars towards conservation efforts for the winning species.
Next week on Zooboards Australia, the Perth Zoo welcomes four Asian small clawed otters whose tiny frames can barely contain their big personalities.